And we're back. So, <laughs> last we left off, the fellas have made their way into the samurai district on their way to the Red Lotus for a possible um, crossing of paths with a uh, certain individual that they may have been seeking out for quite some time now. But regardless, you had just received some information from Cole Greybeard, the Hobgoblin, and had uh, taken it to heart. He also delivered a key that he had found on the corpse of one of the cultists that were uh, left on the roof when you guys last were fleeing from this district. So, as we approach the Lotus itself, it is three stories tall, as opulent as ever. There are the two uh, bodyguards out front, large bugbears, with the soul brand uh, tattoos on their on their necks, denoting them as members of the Mar. While standing there, arms crossed, um, very tight fitting, uh, very uh, tailored kimonos. And what do you guys do? Hmm. I forgot how we got it last time. I look like I belong there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The rest of them, I don't know how they're getting in. Uh, Well, Rogar is going to go up and... um, I have a delivery. I am instructed to give to the madam. Mm. Uh, You can leave it with us. I will not. I will hand it to the madam. Give me an intimidation check, Rogar. Yes, yes. Yes. See if I roll well. Ooh, Come I on. did natural 20 to 24. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he um he the immediately horns starts looking to, good tonight. He his brow furrows and he takes a couple steps back and the guard next to him is kind of like taken aback. You kind of look at him, just your your face, your kind of your lizard like eye kind of smooths mm. over and looks at him and he oh, and they, they just <laughs> both kind of grip the edges of the door and open them for you and they will come with me and i uh will uh i'm with him yeah <laughs> Walk <Start> across, across, <laughs> yeah. To sauntering in this mostly naked um yes. white i do the cloak <laughs> kind of on but yes <laughs> mostly naked yeah yeah and start sauntering in um zolkar dayu and brevrak i'm assuming follow shortly after oh yes kind of. with the crates of stuff yeah we have to deliver as uh, all of you pass in, the doors whoo, close um, quietly behind you. And you see uh, behind, on the left, there is the, uh, the counter that you will remember from last time where you see Madame Vesla. Very tall, slender, um, hobgoblin woman uh, getting up there in age. She's wearing a, a fiery red a very form-fitted uh, kimono herself with the trim. Looks like little flecks of, uh, of orange, almost as if uh, this is uh, fire itself. She looks towards the four of you. Ah, I see you are back. Have you come for a business or pleasure? Business. <laughs> <laughs> Rogar has never met this woman before, but you know, that's say, true. Uh, we'll just say business. Um, oh, scaled one. Well, I haven't seen one of your kind in some time. Could I interest you in a um, personal touch, perhaps? Rather than understand. Uh, <laughs> the subtleties. We couldn't of- afford it, Rogar. I, I, I do not understand what is happening, but I am here to deliver this, and I um, put the chest down. Put the chest down. Yeah, from Quarry. Ah, well, if you uh, would have said earlier, that would have saved us a little trouble. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. You mm. did not open it, did you? I did not. I will know. I did not. She takes it and she kind of waves her hand over it. You see, there is room work along the edges that kind of flashes that was not there before, kind of, mm. and then dies down. Well, good, good. She takes it and then she hands it back towards one of the branded, uh, one of the uh, the guards, basically, up here. <laughs> hands it to him and he, uh, he takes it and then moves um, into a side door, disappearing from view. You do hear the straining of music um, towards the uh, entertaining area, we'll call it, as there is a, uh, a dance happening at the moment. A dance involving, it appears to be, um, a interesting uh, hobgoblin with a blue nose. Um, she is in the throes of strumming a instrument while Jade, the Earth Genasi, that you are all somewhat familiar with, everyone except for Rogar. Um, it looks like the gems on her on her forehead that make almost like jewelry, as well as her collarbone and her wrists that you all know to be actually part of her person have been polished and are, are gleaming in the light. And um, she's performing a very elaborate uh, traditional dance. There are quite a few individuals down here in the bottom floor. And Madame Vesla um, offers uh, to seat you guys down. <clears throat> Would you care to enjoy the show or should we just get right to it? We'll get right to it. Well, what can I do for you then? You've been very helpful. Uh, we're just here to talk to someone. Hmm. Well, I do believe I told you, and as she looks at you, Zoltkar, your illusion disappears. Mm. Oh, Zoltkar standing there, gray-skinned. Um, Empty yourself. And I all. will say, you do wear your mask is still on. It's oh, yes. just the porcelain mask is on covering your face. It's just there's no illusion right now. Yes. Uh, I do believe uh, one of you stood me up. Hmm. I don't recall. Who? <laughs> it was yeah. Atlas, I believe, oh, was okay. the one that she... Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, she did. Uh, he's, uh, he's off questing himself. Oh, well, perhaps one of you would like to take his place. I can tell you where to find him. That, I really don't <laughs> care about that. I care more about what I can get now. In this moment. She kind of looks towards Rogar. Mm -hmm. Looks towards What Dyer. is happening? <laughs> Rogar, please, you're please. You're What's the challenge? What do you need? From Madame Vesla. Looking for a black shroud. Well, there's plenty of those, and she looks towards Brevrak. There's a couple out in the crowd. This one's name's Caddick. Oh, the captain. He has more personal arrangements upstairs. How long has he been here? He just got here. I was about to send Jade up after she was done. <laughs> then we will wait. I'd rather talk to him after. He might be happier. That's true. It's very possible. I interrupt one second. <laughs> Would you care to? Maybe I'll be Jade. I mean, oh, bad idea. <laughs> he's waiting for Jade upstairs. <laughs> So you do you, bro. A little surprise. We're all kind of. <laughs> I will say, um, Zoltkar, after, yeah. after a minute passes, your mm. illusion falls back into place. 
Oh, good. So we're gonna wait, wait out his. Uh, his hey, if you want to be Jade. Jade, you can be Jade. I mean, what do you guys want to do? <laughs> She's sure, offering you a, a seat. If yeah, you want no, to I, sit. I was gonna, I was gonna think uh, we're not, uh, we're not trying to kill this guy, right? What do we want to do with this guy? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Some talk to him. Some talk to him. Okay, good. <laughs> no, yeah, I will let I mean, Jade take um, care of take care of business. Di- I'm yeah. gonna die you. Yeah. Pacing the room, clean. wait waiting for him to come down. Yeah. He'll okay. be happier. Jump up. A little more pliable. All right. Um <laughs> if you are waiting for Kadek to come down, his mind will be clear. Let's see here. Let me see what I can do here. First off, let me pull this up real quick. Boom. Good. So, you guys are seated. Um, Jade finishes her dance. Uh, she sees uh, Dayu, because she doesn't recognize Zolkar, out in the crowd. And she will approach the uh, the four of you. <sighs> I, I didn't think you'd come back. How have you been? We have business to attend to. Yes, of, of course. So as do I. Um, perhaps I'll see you uh, later. Perhaps you're going to talk to Kadik. Uh, yes, I am to attend to him for the night. Good. That's who we need to talk to. He's um, very well. Uh, do, would you like me to tell him you want to see him? That might not be wise as we are wanted men. Very well. Um, he is of a... Uh, well, let's just say he's not the most pleasant man. Thank you for... Uh, That's why you're going to make him happier. And there's a look in her eyes of uh, shame, deep shame. Mm. Sorry. And she, I'm on a mission right now. I will attend to him now. As she walks away from the four of you. <laughs> going I will do towards this. The you, know, <laughs> you remember that uh, beast you wrestled downstairs, Rogar? Lovely Bosa. This will be it? Bo- yes, Bosa. Bosa, but it's Bosa. Lovely Bosa. <laughs> with the milking apparatus. It's the milking. Okay. Do apparatus. we have to bring it up every time? Very <laughs> much. Yes, this is a similar place. Quite nicer. It seems nothing like the, the place we visited earlier. Where is the, the base where the mating happens? <laughs> See, is, you don't do those things in a base. Ruger says this out loud, real loud. Of course he does. <laughs> See several of the uh, several of the like guard members in here kind of like look over. They're in like they're not in their armor. They're in like their their standard like uh, kimono clothes, but they kind of look over and. Don't really pay you much mind. This None of these women car. compare to Busa. Look at them. That's Small. the poem. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, so, oh, the Busa. as that happens, I'm sorry. Uh, Kitsa, the <laughs> hobgoblin, is still strumming her her song, as her strumming on her instrument, and uh, her her tune kind of falters as you start declaring loudly that none of these women <laughs> compared to Busa. Play Freebird. It's kind of, and then she she slips for a moment, and then she she can she picks it back up. Um, however, a uh, there are a few girls kind of just lounging around. Um, a woman approaches your table. Very elegant woman. Um, she's relatively tall, a little over six feet tall. She has purplish skin. And she is, in fact, a half drow. You can tell because the ears are not quite as pointed. Um, her eyes are still white, though, and her, her hair a silverish color. She's wearing a, a rather revealing 
kimono this night, more so than uh, last time you saw her. As Nathlay approaches, well, I uh, see that we have a boastful individual. Perhaps I can get you all drinks and provide you company. I'm okay. That shit's expensive. What about you, Rogar? Uh, I brought my own. And I... <laughs> Big ass barrel. <laughs> the, the gourd on his back. Rogar looks at disgust oh. at this, this this waif of a, of a woman. Uh, she's, she's thin. Uh, she's thin. I would say she's, she's beautiful to a normal yeah. person. I don't know about Rogar, though. <laughs> As of right now, unless she shows some sort of combat prowess, <laughs> magical prowess, uh, Rogar is not impressed. Oh, and impressed. Rogar looks at her. Um, and you can tell, like, the look in his face is like, you you have nothing. You <laughs> disgust me. <laughs> you have nothing that I want. She moves over towards um, Brevrak and Zoltkar. Um, Brevrak immediately turns to putty in her hands. Brevrak, <laughs> yes. Rogar looks at Brevrak. Yes, Madame, goes, don't, don't, do not pay attention to this to this the scaled one he is he is uh unused to our customs we don't be not offended um i i will i will do as you you ask i will do anything uh no <laughs> it doesn't Remember. go that far but <laughs> Remember, your, your offspring will be small and weak look at her do not, do not say that rogar that is, that is that is a hurtful thing to say mm. she's a fine lovely lovely flower to be plucked with 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 soft hands been plucked many times. All the more reason she is not worthy, Ouch, bro. You need Ouch, someone bro. with strong, firm hands, like Busa. <laughs> Trevorak would totally <laughs> send for her, though. He would send. He would. Busa. Busa. looks a little disturbed uh, about this conversation. Who the is fuck moving. is Busa? <laughs> Rogar is just smiling when he sees Busa. You know? uh, I, my, my lord, would you care for anything? I am a uh, a master of the um, massage. Mm, I, uh, I'll be fine. Thank you. Well, should you change your mind? She kind of drapes. Funny things, Alcar. She moves the drape across your shoulder and she kind of pulls back for a second, passing through the illusion. Yeah. Touching your actual armor. Right. Very well. And she walks away. I don't think um, someone who desires flesh should take up the desires of the flesh. That's mm, up to you. Probably mm. would be the best, best plan. So that is that, that is your forte, <laughs> though. You know, you murder them. <laughs> murder them. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe eat them afterwards. What was I say? A nice, was a, a nice woman of the night to <laughs> yeah. put your, drop, drop your hands a, around and, and, and drop a charisma save. And oops. Yeah. We killed your day. I can't, I can't oh. wait for him to do it to Busa. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, oh, damn. A little bit of time passes down here. And an hour goes by. Nothing. How long are you guys going to wait? Like it's too late now. We. We're all in this. Yeah. We can't just go knock on the door hour. anymore. Oh, How long are you guys going to wait? Go knock on the totally door. Can. Okay, totally. I will can. say, yeah. No How long do we think this guy's lasting? You know, no, nobody's <laughs> moving up and down. You don't know what's going on up there. Uh, so it's been an hour. It's been an hour. Nothing. There's been, no, there's been, there's no sign of Jade. There's no sign of the, the description of Kadok. So I'll say that Brevrak has never met the man in person he just knows of him so he has a uh and as smart as Brevrak is he has a a somewhat decent um idea of what the man looks like <laughs> but that's about it he knows he's a hobgoblin and he will have a mark of some kind of station on his person if he's wearing it do you think someone okay. should go investigate what's not happening upstairs i can take a listen i'm quite adept at hearing Okay. 
Are you all going, or are you just going by yourself, Dai? I'll go by myself. That's probably best wear... that he goes by himself. <laughs> I don't wear armor. I don't creak the floor. Dai, you, you, you get up and you start moving towards the main entrance because that's the way that you get to the uh, to the spiral staircases that have. There's two two staircases that kind of lead up and they curve into each other. Then they do the same to go up to the third floor. You're familiar with this. You've been here um, once already. As you move towards them. Um, there is a guard at the bottom of each set of stairs, arms crossed, a member of the branded, tattooed Mar members, just standing there. I keep, I keep going. Are you attempting to go up the stairs? Yes. Okay. You go to move up the stairs and this one, he's a, um, a hobgoblin. Uh, you do see the kind of interesting sword on his hip. It's got a strange hilt, uh, strange metal. Um, it appears to have a bit of a glow to it. As you walk toward him, he um, holds out a hand. Oh, the friend. It's a private party upstairs. No one's allowed up. On business from Eldrin. How do we want to play this? <laughs> Did you fuck out of my way? <laughs> is this sanctioned with the madam? Yes. Okay, give me a deception check, I guess. <laughs> Twelve. I'll roll against you. Well, if, if she didn't say anything to me, but um, maybe I could let you pass for just a minute. Um, don't, don't be gone too long. So he kind of steps to the side and you scurry up the stairs. You're on the second floor. You kind of look around. Um, you see the, the kind of uh, booth that you went into previously was right here at the top of the stairs. This entire floor appears to be empty. The crystal. With Crystal. Yes. Crystal is not here. God damn it. <laughs> Where is he? Hey, Yo, the fuck fuck is Crystal? He's not yeah. here yet. Hey, Maybe he's upstairs. He? Who knows? <laughs> hey, where the fuck is Crystal, huh? <laughs> so where are you going, uh, you? I don't hear anything. You don't hear anything on this floor. Oh, fuck. oh, is there another floor? There's three floors. Oh. Yeah, I, is, is the staircase next to me or about to go to the next? Yeah, it's it's this up. like it spirals in and then it spirals again. So yeah. you're kind of like at a landing. Um, yep. You move up to the next set of stairs. Okay. Now, are you moving with stealth or are we just walking up? Uh, walking up. Okay. I'm not stomping my feet. Though. Go ahead and give me perception test. Yes. Um, you can use your hearing if you want to. So whatever you yes. want to do. 22. Dear God. Okay. I hear forever I fart downstairs. <laughs> he's, he's doing more than that. He's like pawning over uh, <laughs> over the drow, that drow. It's just whenever she comes back, yes. You know, he's he wants he wants her to wrap him up in latex and take him to the back room. Week. <laughs> it's just it's just the way he is. I don't know what it is about him. He's into it. That's the real. <laughs> that's probably how Patrick would play it. It's so. true. It's true. It's. I'm being honest here. It's <laughs> it's it's pretty close. <laughs> so, um, regardless, though, as you are moving upstairs, um, you hear um. You hear some slapping noises, um, loud, uh, fast. You hear and fast. You hear um, two individuals kind of, kind of grimacing. Mm -hmm. And as you get to the top of the stairs, you see there are two guards outside of a door. <laughs> this whole floor, there's only one door. So you get the idea that this top floor is almost like a penthouse kind of situation. Um, there are two branded standing here. They're kind of heads down, kind of every time you hear one of the uh, the noises. 
They look up and see you, Dayu, since you're not stealthing. Yeah. You there. They, gra- they both reach down to their hips. The hilt of their swords. They're not drawn. Whoa. <laughs> I'll fucking cut you down. Uh, put my hands up. Crystal's there. Hey. <laughs> yes. What are you doing? <laughs> I can't do it. I'm all, <laughs> do it up here. <laughs> I've been sent by Eldrin. God damn it. Is that what we're going with? <laughs> no. But yes. Eldrin sent me. Fuck's he got to do with this? He wants he to talk to the guy this. In, he wants to talk to the guy in the room. Where so where's Eldrin then? You know, Eldrin's not gonna come here. You can't just walk in there. I didn't plan on walking in. I just want to know if he was still in there. Yeah, he's in there. He's in there, all right. <laughs> it's still in there? Yeah, she's still in there. All right. I go downstairs, report back to the crew. As you go to turn, you hear a screech. followed by a series of hard slaps. What's going on in there? Uh, uh, private, uh, private session. Go downstairs. As you move downstairs, um, Crystal goes to the edge. Hey, hey, you fucks. What are you doing down there? He kind of throws his hands up. The two guys Can at the bottom. Us? They're at the bottom. This is an open, open oh, all the way up. So they kind of crawl, calls down to the bottom. The two guys at the bottom kind of, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, you shut up. Uh. <laughs> so, you go. That's a straight Italian, bro. That's not, that's not Italian, man. Oh, shut up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, lost it. I lost it. It's gone now. It's all gone. As you go to move down the stairs, they, uh, they let you pass. And um, Madame Vesla cocks an eye as you walk down the stairs, seeing you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You go approach uh, Rogar and Zaltkar, Bravrak. What are you? What are you guys doing? There's four guards. He's still in there. And he's beating the shit out of her. Mm. You know, I think maybe she's beating the shit out of him, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Screams like a girl. <laughs> maybe. I don't think we have need to wait. We can speed this along. Was Brad at a disadvantage at, with his trousers down? That's right. <laughs> what were you gonna say, Rogar? What is Brevrak? What is Brevrak doing? Brevrak is um, like half listening to you because he is fixated yeah, he's, on. He's totally. He's he is enthralled with <laughs> Nethlight. Resolve is weak. He is weak. Tell us, Crystal's there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Crystal's upstairs. He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. You know, Crystal's still upstairs guarding. Uh. Oh, gosh. I'm trying to picture Rogar's moral compass right now, you know? Like, what? I don't know. What do you do? I don't know. Uh, Would that door be the side facing the street or the alley? So it's all internal. Yeah. So you, it would be... It's it's That is the innermost part of this building, this, this like almost uh, tower-like structure. It is three floors up. Yeah. So it, it has no window. No, not not that you could see from here. Now, mm-hmm. picture it kind of like a hotel. Like you go through mm-hmm. the entrance and then you've got rooms on one side. And on the outside of those rooms, there might be windows, there might not. The room you went into, there was no windows. So there's not a window. I mean, Kallax, you don't know. Kallax known as a great warrior, right? Um, 
he so Brevrak would know that he earned his name. He wasn't just given it. Um, he earned it through uh, accomplishment. He rose quickly from a regular just Joe Schmo soldier to the rank of captain and was given the name Black Shroud. So he is, he has uh, some kind of, he's either very good with politics or he is a decent with the, uh, with the sword or perhaps uh, who knows what. He has power of some kind. We're going to defer to the other, the other three. He doesn't understand the situation, I guess. Sounds kind of easy to change into someone, someone with higher yeah. authority than him. Yeah. If uh, if upstairs and Zalkar thinks the uh, yes, if Zalkar thinks that the 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 lady is being harmed in any way, he'd definitely go take care of that. So uh, mm-hmm. I can get up there and I can get up there and intimidate uh, intimidate our friend <laughs> to the top of the stairs so, and come up uh, a little higher ranking. What about uh, uh, what about the rest of you? Are you guys all going or no? Let's stay downstairs and wait for Zalkar to start screaming. That's okay. That means <laughs> that means shit hit the fan. Okay. Yeah. So it's all that's fair. Yeah. You move towards the staircase. Wait a minute. I leave one of my sending stones with with Rogar. Oh. All right. All right. That's a good idea. And if shit goes down, I'll send a message to Rogar. Rogar puts it up to his like ear. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> The a stone. signal shaman. <laughs> Apparently it's magical. Magic stone. <laughs> magic stone. <laughs> yes. So, so car, you move back yes. towards the um towards the, the main floor. Mm. And I need you to make me a stealth check. You got it, Val. Let's see. Stealthy stealth. Ooh, not so good. Okay. You... But it wouldn't necessarily be stealthing because I can look important. No, you can't. Unfortunately, you move yeah. into the main hall ah. and your illusion yeah. is gone. As Madame Vessel oh. just looking at you Why from you her understand? podium. Can I help you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're not with me. And, uh, and you're just kind of standing there. <laughs> just keep going. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to okay. keep going. Keep going towards the guards. Yeah, as soon as I can, I'm putting the face back on. <laughs> okay, why don't you give me a wisdom saving throw real quick uh, in the car? You son of no. a bitch. Ah, oh, just a straight wisdom save. Mm-hmm. Okay. I hate okay, this place. Good. Are you? Yes. Oh, shit. 23. You feel invasive magic begin to flood into your brain and attempt to lock your joints as you... But you're used to shrugging off these attempts. A little old person. (laughs) Perhaps. And you shake it free. Well, you have a strong will as you begin walking towards the uh, guard. The guard immediately goes down to his hip to his sword hilt. Oh, yeah. Stop! What are you doing, Zaltkar? Hmm. Hmm. Sure. Uh... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what are you going to do, Zalt Car? I am going to go. So, t- uh, give me, like, is there, a, is there a place to duck into? Uh, as far okay. as. Like, out of sight of them, real quick. Just like duck. Um, hmm. Or a place I could take. You know, semi cover. Yeah, why don't you give me perception test real quick? Okay. Perception. Oh, you son of a bitch. You don't see anything. Fell off of an 18. <laughs> yeah, you don't see anything nearby. Um, there are, it looks almost like um, 
I'm not near a wall. Yeah. There, there's a wall nearby. Yeah, because there's a wall that leads up to, to the staircase that separates but this room. Just, you can jump up on the wall and go invisible. Oh, that's what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> so you begin, so you, as this happens, you kind of, and the man does this, you be, you you move. Now, are you going invisible before you hit the wall? Uh, I'm going to jump on the wall and then go invisible <laughs> and okay. scramble. He jumps up. Just uh, are you are you all fours or is it just feet? Because you you uh, you. In oh, I can walk. Yeah, you can walk. Yeah, no, I'm yours gonna is, Spider Man this. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna Spider Man this. Begin to to run up the uh, run up the wall as you do. He, and he draws his sword, and as he does, it is a black blade. And as it hits the air, the blade lights on fire. There's uh, just a rush of flame Fuck. out in front of him. For dramatic Damn effect, dark it, doesn't, saber. it doesn't do anything. However, <laughs> okay, and he kind of twirls it. Intruder! He starts calling out. Um, you are invisible. Um, how about Rogar, Dayu, and Brevrak here? What are you guys doing after you after this clusterfuck has happened in the? Uh, Everything is totally atrium? calm. What are you guys <laughs> doing? Apparently, this intruder. Yes. Ah. Uh. Rogar takes, <laughs> takes a stone. How's it going, shaman? It's all car. You 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 hear it. <laughs> of course I do. Yeah, you hear it. It's it's in your head. It's because uh, you have the your the stone is on your person, so you can hear I'm it. Gonna, I, I climb up a little higher. Mm -hmm. Things have gone poorly for Rogar. Rogar looks up. It's not going well. <laughs> that oh, tends to happen. Perhaps he needs aid. A noble samurai will 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 strike down our foes if need be. <laughs> are we are we to to shed blood here, Elder? Oh. Is this? No, this would be such a bad. Do we do we idea. kill them all? No. <laughs> You said there was a woman who needed aid. I... She could not take care of herself. No. It was the woman that you said was not to your stature, Rogar. She was not Busa. No woman is Busa. And uh, <laughs> Rogar, is there a way for me to make it up to the the third oh, yeah. floor without being seen? Like you're invisible. Yeah, so they're actively there, like, looking for you. Yeah, but I'm, yes. I'm still making my. I want to make my way. Like, I, you know, yeah. I'm still on mission. I say they're all on. They're at disadvantage. <laughs> I'm rolling perception tests for them to try to pin yeah. you down. It's not going <laughs> well. Um, they're having a hard time finding you. They're they're kind of getting a little bit nervous. And Madame Vesla's at the bottom. Uh, Where's that little fucker? She's kind of looking up, looking for you. Um, her hands are outstretched. And there are crackles of energy from her fingertips. If anybody's looking in that direction, <laughs> she's got sparkles. Can we see her from our table? Um, most people are beginning. Well, here's what you see at your table now: as uh, three more members of the uh, the the more individuals here stand up and begin ushering patrons out. It's time to leave. We're closing early. I think that's our cue. They're ushering people to leave downstairs. About to throw some shit down, man. Elder, what the what the shaman? We gotta leave him. We'll find a way. There is an alley behind this building. A grappling hook. Uh, a <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What's Brad Brad doing? has a new yeah. favorite toy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it tracks. It tracks. I'm not gonna it lie. Does. It does track. It does. Uh, Ruger, I guess we we get up. Are we leaving with the crowd? It's gonna look worse if we sit and stay. So we have to get up and go. <laughs> get up. You're being ushered. I'm not leaving. Um, people are, are quickly moving. Um, a lot of them look kind of upset. Um, yes. Madame Vesla darts eyes towards most of them. They kind of cow down. However, she sees Rogar, Dayu, Brevarak. You three. Well. Goodbye, Madam. <laughs> You're going nowhere. And she looks so towards the terrible here. 
Um, what are you guys doing? Nowhere. Why is she angry? <laughs> oh. <laughs> she flicks a hand towards the doors that you entered, and then they oh, shit. close firmly. The three individuals that were escorting begin to encircle the three of you, draw their fiery blades, crackles fire of blades? heat, all of them. Uh, Rogar snarls and says, uh, hmm, I do not care for flames. Um, um, think carefully before you draw those on me. And uh, <laughs> Oh, okay. To give me an intimidation check, Rogar. Let's see how well this goes. Hopefully it goes as well as last time. Nope. <laughs> Nine. That's not. Uh, I will say there is there is venom in your voice, but these men are hard hardened criminals. <laughs> they might be more scared of Madame Vesla, mm. who's looking at the three of you. Where did your friend go? He better not be interfering with my business. I don't know where he went. Brenda is quietly. We can't see him. Out to the room. Okay, it's all car. You make it to the top. Um, uh, Crystal is kind of like there in front of the door. It's a double double doors. He's kind of like in the center of them. The other guard is kind of looking down. Where is he? Where is he? What are you gonna do, Salt Car? Yeah. So let's see. Hmm. Um. What are we doing, Zalt Car? So one guy's distracted, and and the other guy is actively looking for me he's up like there. he's like back against the against the doors and they're oh, all look, they're all scanning yeah. i have to kill him probably <laughs> what are you gonna do kill Crystal? <laughs> i won't have it i won't stand for it what are you gonna do zolkar zolkar's default Ooh. is just kill <laughs> <laughs> it is you tell me what you kill i'm gonna kill him okay, right. now so, i have to kill him <laughs> You know what the solution for this problem is? Murder. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. His it's demon true, couldn't yeah. find a better host, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this guy gets it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You are invisible. Uh, they can't see you. Is there you. a way? Hmm. Yeah, but he's standing in front of the door, right? He's standing in front of the door. I mean, what you, you tell me what you would like is there, to do. Is there, a, is there a place where I could, um, like in the way the stairs are made, could I go out of uh, line of sight and then disguise myself into a superior officer? Okay, I will say this. Um, a superior. The the top floor, it, it, it's a hall yeah. across. that It goes out of view on each side. Um, goes to a, goes to a wall. You look to each si- to down each side quickly. There's the main door here in the center. Mm-hmm. You look down the ways, and well, give me a perception test real fast. All right, let's see let's see what you pick out. Nice, nice. 19. Okay, very good. So you would see as you're looking back both ways that, in particular, to the right and the left towards the very end. As you get to the ends of the hall, there are windows and they appear to be open to let in the nice cool air. Um, you get the idea that there are windows on this floor. Yeah. All right. It could be a possible entrance into the next room. Could be. So I'll climb out the window and I will say each well, from from walking outside um this is almost like a traditional japanese like structure mm-hmm. each floor has like a like a roof line right so it is theoretically you could walk also right. you have spider climb you yeah. can and yeah, yeah there's also that you could <laughs> yeah. literally walk 
Yeah, so uh, let me do that. Let me see if I can get to the uh, room I'm interested in from the outside. Okay. You quickly taking stock of the situation, you move um, right or left? Uh, let me go to the right. Okay, you move right and you start, and you kind of hop out the window. Um, there is the the uh, tiled roof, the slanted mm-hmm. roof. Um, as you look to your left, you do see that there are several sets of windows, and the windows are shrouded with um, what you know to be probably a, a thin paper. Right. Um, the, do I have a sense the, from direction that this is this would maybe be the room? Yes. As far as you know. Um, so let me do a perception test against one of the windows to see okay. if I hear anything. A 12. Okay. Um, you hear another loud scream. Mm. And a uh, a heavy thud. Mm. Oh, shit. Um, so I want to Kool-Aid man it through the window. Okay. You're just going to bust through? <laughs> Yeah, but you know, yeah. invisible. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Let's, as soon as I bust through, though, I want to, I want to, I want to climb up to the ceiling and get get it get a perspective. All right. Of let me ceiling. let me put this in perspective. If you take any kind of actions while invisible, yeah. the invisibility oh, disappears. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, so if I go busting in. If you go, if if you just go slamming through it, then yes, you, it's, yeah. your invisibility is going to be gone. You will be in the world. Am I just appear to be at an open window? You could try it. Let me find an open window. Okay. You if there's a window of... I can open like it were the breeze. All right. Give me an investigation check, and we'll see if you yeah. find a window that is somewhat open. Smart. I will not find an open window. <laughs> no, you will not. Okay. Uh, is, there ones... a, oh, is there a window I can jimmy open? I'm here to kill. Um, with that roll, that's a very bad roll. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you go to, you go to, you, 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 you there sure you, is a window you're looking, you're looking and you, you see that this, it's a window. It looks like these open from the inside. Ah, son of a bitch. So it would be difficult without um, someone of appropriate skill. Mm-hmm. If Tuk Tuk was here. Yeah. Well, he's dead. He's not here. He's dead. Mm-hmm. So he's dead. yourself personally, you, you're not invested in those skill, that skill set. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're busting in. Yeah, you're just gonna busting in, explode in, bust it. Okay. Yeah, just burner, bust in. Shit. <laughs> burner. <laughs> <laughs> and you just are you you're just gonna jump right oh, through yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will let you. You can either give me athletics or acrobatics. This will determine what this looks like. Oh, it's gonna be acrobatics. I figured it would be. It looks average. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's not. It's not glorious. No three um, point Iron Man landing. It's not glorious, but you also don't like bounce off the window and fly off the side of the building. So there's there is that. So you kind of like how Flynn Rider shows up entangled. Exactly. Strong ass paper. You kind of. You kind of. And you. Ah, and it's more. It's more the the kind of wood um, brace structure mm-hmm. that holds the paper together that provides resistance and you are yeah. hitting it from the opposite direction you're having to bend the hinges inward essentially as you as it's and i am not rogar no you're not rogar as no. you you more so use your weight than anything you kind of roll into it it's not pretty but you you slam and you do kind of a bit of a, a bit of a tuck and roll and yeah. you you land, land kind of on your knees um yeah. your invisibility disappears as as this no, happens yes. As you kind of, as you take stock, downstairs, you guys hear a crash through a window. You hear, oh, the fuck was that? Is it coming from the room? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm, hold on. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, how how far does the scroll of silence go? 
Um, look at the silent spell. I believe it's yeah. it's pretty far. Uh, let me pull it up real quick. Like a twenty foot radius. I think so. I think that's right. It's 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 pretty good size. I want to drop a scroll of silence on the room. But is okay. So you already broke the window, so you won't have you won't be able to do it uh, before you broke the window. But yeah, if you want to use it now, you can. I want to prevent uh, what's is from calling out. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's a twenty foot radius. It's yeah. it's it's pretty that's pretty damn big. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you can do it up to 120 feet. You quickly, very quickly, using your training, you grab a hold of the uh, the scroll and you you look up. And as you canvas the room, Zaltkar, you see that this room is 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 very large and open. Um, you're looking at like a hundred foot by hundred foot square room. Shit. There is a an actual bed off the floor, not not just like a mat or anything. There's an actual four post bed. Um, deeper into the room. There are braziers near it, kind of for, for mood lighting. Mm-hmm. There are various other um, pillows and other ornamentation, uh, very lavishly furnished. However, in the center of the room, I will finish explaining this after I put a child in bed oh. because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to start into this. I'll be right back. Yeah, this is a real dirty scene. In the center center of the (laughs) bedroom. You see her, she's stuck under the bed. And the two giant dildos. No, no. (laughs) Stepmom comes walking in. (laughs) (laughs) She's stuck. Oh, God. At the center of the room, you see there is a, a... set of manacles, two sets of manacles hanging from the mm. ceiling with Jade having both hands manacled um, and, it, and they are spread out. In addition, it looks like there are manacles on her feet suspending her slightly in the air. Um, she is completely naked, her brown stone flesh exposed. There are rivets of blood um, dripping down her back. Her back is exposed to you. Um, and her, he- her, he- her head is kind of slumped forward. There are slashes across her back. There is a half-naked hobgoblin man, tall, standing there, uh, breathing heavily with a large coiled whip. Top half or bottom half naked? Top half. Okay. He's not Donald ducking it. <laughs> okay. This guy, I mean, yeah, he is Donald you know, ducking it. You, went, you were very specific on Jade, so I got to know. It's, it's yeah. true. It's true. Yeah. As he's kind of heavily breathing, he, he uh, looks back and goes to say something. There are no words that come out of his mouth. And you see a flicker of concern, deep deep concern as he dro- quickly drops the whip and it looks like he's going to begin moving towards his cast off weapons and, and armor nearby mm-hmm. yeah and uh, so how far away from him am I um, you are 60 feet away from him 60 feet away from him oh hell all right the big ass so, room. This is a huge it room. It's a big ass room. Uh, I'm going to take uh, 35 feet of my movement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Since I did cast silence. That prevents me from using Word of Radiance or Toll the Dead. You can use Word Toll of Radiance. Re- oh, yeah. No, anything vocal mm-hmm. is not going to work. And Toll the Dead requires that. But it's magical sound. It doesn't matter. It's If, okay. if, if, Just, if, there's, if there's vocal components, it won't work. Oh, 
yeah. We heard the crash, right? Too. And then silence. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. there's there's yeah. there's there's no other sound up there besides the okay. the guards. Yeah. Um, okay. So, all right. I'm going to take my 35 feet of movement towards him. Okay. Um, trying to is trying to stick to the darker parts. I don't want to, you know, if there's light, I don't want to be intentionally. The only it. light in the room uh, currently lit are the braziers next to the bed that are kind of illuminating the front How of the. How tall is the ceiling? Uh, you have uh, 20 foot ceilings here. Okay. Very tall. Um, the window you smashed through was large. I should have mentioned that. Yeah. Pretty. It was. It's. It's like normal size width. A very yeah. tall window. Got it. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna take 35 feet of movement uh, to to get closer, um, and then I will uh, uh, lace up a crossbow bolt mm -hmm. and take aim at him uh, before he can reach for his weapons. Okay. Okay. Probably gonna be a terrible, terrible mistake. You're right. an expert. Uh, you're yeah, you're an expert. It's true. Give it a shot here, huh? Hold on, let me pull up this encounter I created. Oh, you guys, I knew it was going to happen. Dude, there's no way to avoid it. You, you, it's, it's very quick as you're moving. Yeah. And you, and it, the bolt, there's no sound. Yeah. So it just, it, it impacts and there's, there's like a reverberation through the floor, but no, no, no thud. noise. Yeah. No thud. You just feel like the vibration and you see him kind of look down real quick, snarl at you, uh, no noise whatsoever. You do notice there are tattoos across his back and his shoulder. Um, they look like coiled serpents across mm. some of his body um, and rolling waves. And the tattoos look eerily similar to the Mar tattoos you've seen on several individuals. Mm -hmm. As he's going for his weapon. Um, downstairs, uh, not in this <laughs> battle, Rogar, Dayu, and Brevrak are surrounded currently. Um, the two guards that were at the base of the stairs come over. So now there are five members of the Mar, Adam and Madam Vesla standing there. All of They all have swords drawn. They're all burning. Um, these are not katanas, I might mind. I might, uh, I might intone. The blades look uh, almost like a traditional longsword, except they are, as they come up, they come into jagged, almost slits, and the flames are leaking out of the slits themselves. And there is glowing red and orange rune work along the edge of the blade. Um, does anybody speak infernal? Probably not. Okay. No. No. Um, then you guys would have no idea what the hell these are. They, they look like magic swords. They look dangerous. Madam Vesla looks very upset. And it's at this point that she kind of enough with this she shakes her head and as she does she begins to get taller she's about seven and a half feet tall now she's about rogar size rogar nods at her two curling horns <laughs> <laughs> two uh curling horns come out the side of her head and begin to spin very close there's another another two that come off the top her skin begins to purple her nose elongates slightly, her chin getting a little bit more pointy. Her hair comes back a dark black, almost coal-like color. She, the, the kimono she was wearing begins to shift and move into a, almost like a robe. There are human skulls on her hip, on a sash, and her hands and fingers begin to elongate slightly as she, uh, that's better. Well, dearies, I think you've had enough fun for the nights. Damn it. For a dire. 
Uh, <laughs> everybody run and that's where we're going to end tonight's episode of whispers from the stars <laughs> we're dead I'm so sorry guys <laughs> oh, no. the one thing Patrick didn't want was for Ro- for, for, for Breverac to die and I yep. have sentenced us all to death poor bastard you know, we're, we're going <laughs> to die here this, this all we'll to see. death we'll wow. see did she turn into a together? She's not a She's a hag. Is what she she is. might be a type of hag. Oh, fucking demon <laughs> hag. Uh, feel free to come into the, as much as come you into want. their house. Come into their house. She poke them around. They turn. She's into had. Them. She's had lots of abilities. Who knows what's going on here? Yeah. Regardless, though, <laughs> she's like a level twenty shit. <laughs> Good. No, she's not level twenty by any means, but. With everything you guys are in right now, this is a deep shit moment. This could be, this could go, it could go either really good or it could go really bad. Well, I don't see any way it goes really good. I only can negotiate. It's some crits, you know, here and there. It's possible. It's possible. Atlas, I don't know what Atlas you guys shows are going to do. Up, they, <laughs> they got magic weapons. <laughs> I got magic weapons. People are going to have shit. <laughs> they might, they might have, yeah, the, the weapons are interesting for sure. <sighs> so, yeah. regardless though, you know, Good session, Broker's not going down without a fight. You know? He's not going down with a fight. That's true. You will not take the son of Amu. Exactly. <laughs> oh, <Busa>! Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, hopefully, you guys had a good session. I'm saddened. Pierce Galactic had to get had to get away, but he had a uh, family emergency come up, so he should be joining us next session. He will be excited. For about five minutes before we all die. I know. I know. He'll be there for his last. I'll be like, it's like what the hell happened? Back. <laughs> what are your last words? What do you mean? <laughs> you can literally we, start it that way, though. We fucked up. <laughs> and picking up where we left yeah, off, Brent really Rack, is there anything you'd like to say before you die? We're all words. dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome, guys. It's gonna be good. Um, but you know, let's let's not speculate too much on what can or cannot happen. I'm speculating. <laughs> um, how about favorite moments for the night? We had an interesting night. Let's let's start with uh, the Doobster. Give me 209. Hmm. That's going to be when we start this next session. <laughs> me and Rogue are fighting Tonight's to death. session, not next session. Tonight's session. Oh, me and Rogue are going to go down in a blaze of glory, sword swinging. Mm-hmm. Like that scene in 300. Down. It could go bad. Blaze of glory. But also, I, I was afraid. I, I didn't want to come to the Red Lotus. After I just, after I said I wanted to come here, I didn't want to come here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm glad we didn't come here last episode. I was hoping to push it away as far <laughs> as I could. Well, because I was afraid this was going to happen. Well, which shit, real quick. We're uh, not the best it, diplomats. Nope, uh, we're not. Uh, I love all cars. You know, he's a murder hobo. That caused the murder. <laughs> yeah, <hobo. no. laughs> he's the ultimate murder hobo. Yeah, that, that was a good moment. It was the writing like, was on the wall. And like, like well, five minutes in the session one, when he was I just like, him. "I want to kill those goblins." <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like I need to kill him. It's like you know what? <laughs> Solution for this, you know, is murder. No, no survivors. survivors. <laughs> uh, no survivors. It's all car. <laughs> like. You have got a, a severe advantage on the captain right now. If you if something were to go down, severe advantage. It'll it'll that be more spell. Silence, naked is, silence is huge. Unfortunately, you can't yell out for us. No, no. Yeah. That's it's huge. That's a huge benefit though. Yeah. So oh. that he's naked. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That too. <laughs> he caught him with his <laughs> that pants too. Down. Got him literally. Yeah. He's got nothing on him. His AC is a ten right now. Donald Duck in it. You know, you, I, I can't believe he missed. That was the other. Yeah, I was like, on. damn, man. I'm like, of course, the one roll. Yeah. Donald Instead of Duck used the critty. Thanks, D20. It doesn't look so badass when he dies shirt cocking it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what happened to our noble captain? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> How about um? Favorite most of the night for uh, the son of Amu, Rogar. Uh, gosh, you know, there's a lot of good moments. You know, I did appreciate uh, uh, the thought process of of Dan. You know, you can see him thinking like, "What am I going <laughs> to do? <laughs> what am I going to do here? Mm-hmm, like, what's mm-hmm. what solution could I use to solve this?" <laughs> and then you know, ends up falling back on, you know what? <laughs> Hasn't done me wrong so far. <laughs> I can kill him. I can kill him. <laughs> I no, <laughs> damn. Uh, but I think uh, probably my favorite moment is probably, um, you know, I had another 
uh, recurring character this session. Mm-hmm. Uh, Crystal made another Crystal. appearance. Crystal. <laughs> Crystal. He's, he's, uh, he's going to be. Uh, I like the way he looked over, him. The, he's gonna like be the, way looked over the balcony. It was like, what the fuck's going on down there? <laughs> <laughs> And of course, it's super. It's super. His cousin from Sicily was, was down there. So. Ah, yeah. oh, what do you? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> so, right from yeah. Sicily. Yeah, All good things. All exactly. Good things. Shut up. Uh. Save us <laughs> from this moment. Um, it's amazing again. Family. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to enjoy my spaghetti. Damn it. Uh. Dan Decker, favorite moment, sir? Shut the fuck up, Giuseppe. Uh, <laughs> uh, starting the apocalypse. Apparently, oh, Lord. I uh, opened the seventh seal. Mm-hmm. Didn't realize mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. I really didn't want to resort to to murder, death, kill. You know, mm-hmm. the old one eight seven. But didn't um, want to. <laughs> didn't want to. I had no choice. Why, I had no why choice. did you make me kill you? I had no choice. Why did you I had do no this? Choice. You, you made me, me do you it. Me? You backed Forced me into me a do corner. It. Why were you there? Is weapons. You gave I, me another weapon. I did. I gave you another um, one. You know, cursed. I really wanted oh, to get right. cursed. I really wanted to drink its blood. You know? I know. Yeah, you can. Um, you can. It's going to be great. But, uh, boy, if I'd have gotten what would have been favorite is getting the drop on this captain and critting his ass naked. But mm-hmm. you know, we'll recover. <laughs> um, we'll recover and we'll see how it goes uh, next session uh, when we all survive miraculously. Yeah, so miraculous. Uh, Everybody's going to live. It's going to be great I times. Mean, uh, hags are noted for their for their openness to negotiation. Of course. Right? I mean, of course. Uh, yeah. Particular hag might but be a little they, upset right now. Just a dad. Not like I set the place on fire yet. Not yet. <laughs> I Not know yet. it's yeah. it's bound to happen. This is we like burn almost every here. building we That's go That's our other every thing is we we're, we're, no we're survivors. Murder, arson. Hobo, arson. No survivors. <laughs> Start <laughs> knocking <laughs> shit over. Oh, burn poor Derona to the ground. Mm-hmm. You, you know, know our car. You know, we're wrongfully accused, but you know the the crimes are really you know, stacking <laughs> start, up on our part here. Listen, we didn't do the crimes they accused us. Of. That's true. <laughs> but we've got plenty of other crimes. Are we? Are we it's the true. baddies? <laughs> exactly. It's true. It's very true. Um, what if I had a favorite 18, moment, y'all? I will say, Dan, I enjoy. I I didn't know how you were going to get in that room. You did pretty good, man. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'll be honest for 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 the way it, the way it was going, you did you did pretty good. You got in there, you got the drop on him. That's it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. So, well, you know, is he going to take ten minutes to put on his armor, or is he going to fight me? They said it was cast off armor, so I'm skeptical. Yeah. He might have cast off armor. We don't know. We'll see. That's what you told us. He said, he's like, going to cast, cast off, off armor. And I was like, oh, no, off. no. Like, I didn't mean it as magical cast off armor. Oh, okay. I mean, as, like, he His had, armor is cast off. Cool. Like, he had cast it off. Well, that's good. Maybe it takes when him he, to put shit on. <laughs> might take him a while to put his, put his clothes back on. So, yeah. Uh, so regardless, though, awesome session, oh. boys. Um, whew, I had fun. Hopefully, you guys had fun. Um yeah yeah if you have not yet already do subscribe to the channel you get to enjoy all this new all of this uh all these great conversations um lots of you know very authentic impersonations of ethnic individuals you you didn't explain where the where the stepmom was in that room no there's stop it (laughs) exactly (laughs) i had to come i have to cut that part you know, what are you that. talking about? No. You're gonna leave in the cousin from Sicily, but no, yes. the cousin from Sicily is not gonna be in there. It's ridiculous. <laughs> she was stuck yeah. underneath the bed. No, stop! And stop it now! And, and you need. No. And she goes. No. In Zalkar, car, I'm in stuck under the bed. Zalkar comes walking in. <laughs> oh God, Zalkar, I'm stuck under the bed. Need help? <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm so, to fix the cable. Oh, thank you very yeah. much for watching, everybody. <laughs> this has been Ember Fell, Whisper from the Stars. Do make sure to uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Leave, leave us comments down in the comment section, please, not about what was just stated. Oh, that is oh, God. Hey. It's on Thursday for <laughs> Improv <laughs> Night at the Louis the, uh, the other brothel episode we did. So it's true. It's true. They're going to love this channel. one. We'll see. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a good day.